Hey everyone, in this video today, we're participating in a Valentine All You Need Is Love tear tray collaboration. In our tray today, we have a elegant farmhouse design filled with hearts, roses, and lots of beads. We wanna thank Carol for hosting the challenge today. Her channel is My Blessed Nest. Her information is listed in our description box. If you're new to Southern G More Gal, subscribe to our channel, and let's get started with making our tear tray. Now, we made our tray with items purchased from the Dollar Tree. We purchased two of these clear plastic cake plates and then one of the glass candle holders and then the shorter, fatter um, candle holder there. So it only cost $4 to put our tray together. And we put our tray together using the E6000 glue. We glued our pieces there together. So this is a inexpensive, quick, easy way for you to make a a really elegant tear tray. After my tray dried, I went back and spray painted my trays. I used an heirloom white spray paint that I purchased from Walmart. And then I purchased the Mardi Gras beads from the Dollar Tree and spray painted those beads. And then I just applied those with a hot glue gun. They were really simple just to go around the edge of the trays there on the top of the trays and spin it around and glue those beads on there. And if you noticed any of your beads where maybe the color was coming through from the Mardi Gras beads, I just um, kind of went and touched um, some of those places with a paintbrush if any of it didn't get covered really well with the spray paint. And surprisingly, the Mardi Gras beads that are green and blue, the darker colors seem to do better than anything that had a pink or purple tone. Those tend to kind of turn pink when you're spray painting those white. So the, the greens and the blue beads colored much better with the off-white than the reds. They wanted to turn a pink color. And next, I just really quickly wanted to go through the items that we're using on the tray. These are all DIY items that I used from either different Valentine videos that we had, or there's a couple here that we painted just for the tray. So these are some little wooden Valentines from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was use some wood putty to fill in the hole there. And we painted two of those a light pink and then two of those off-white. This is off-white chalk paint that I used. And then I mixed that off-white chalk paint with this pink color to just make it a real pale light pink on two of the hearts. So we didn't use all of the hearts. And this is the wood putty that I used to fill in the hole on the top of these. And I just recently found these hearts at the Dollar Tree. I didn't see those when they first were putting their Valentine stuff out. So hopefully they'll have some of those. The little box here I also got from the Dollar Tree, and I wanted to show you the bottom there. That was its original color. I spray painted it with the heirloom white, and then they had these stickers at the Dollar Tree. I just applied those to my box and went over, over top of them with the Maj Podge just to make sure they stayed on my box good. And these are the standing hearts. Everything to make these I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I actually had the stands left from a snowflake DIY that we had. But that is the larger heart that I just showed you. I painted white. This is the pink heart was one of these chalk chalkboard tags. I just filled in the hole flipped that, and flipped it over and painted it pink. I glued the hearts together with a glue gun. And then I went around the hearts with the beads and glued those on with the glue gun. Those little wooden dowels are from the Dollar Tree. I just stained that a wood stain and then the stand is a little the little flameless candles from the dollar tree and i just took out the light bulb part or the flame part and glued the dowel into the stand with my glue gun now these little cups came in a, i think there was a six pack from the dollar tree and they had a couple designs i wanted i was trying to stick with everything that was white so we're using a couple of those little cups on our tray and then we have some of the roses there we purchased from the Dollar Tree. And these roses are kind of an off-white with a light shade of pink on it. And this little bottle also came from the Dollar Tree and they had a couple different shades or a couple different colors. This one has a slight pink tone to it. And this heart here was also in another Valentine DIY that we had. I had a red heart in the center instead of a pink. That was a wooden heart from Michaels. And this is just a canvas frame from the Dollar Tree. And I had just removed the canvas around the frame, stained the frame, and then painted the canvas off white. So I'm going to start putting my tray together on the bottom. I'm just putting my little Valentine box here. And I tried to put the lid kind of covering the center of the tray. And then I put my little cup on the right side. And I was just trying to fill in with these little wooden hearts. So I'd put an off, one of the pink hearts into that cup on the right side. 
So I'm going to put one of the standing hearts in the back there. And this one is a slightly shorter than the other standing heart. So just make sure that you your heart will fit up underneath here when you're judging the size of that dowel. And then I'm just taking some lamb's ear. I purchased the lamb's ear from Walmart. They're about $2 for a pack. And I just clip that apart. And then I'm going to apply some of my roses. I tried to position the roses facing opposite directions from each of the tiers on the tray. So one is facing uh, to the left and then the other one is facing to the right on the top of the tray. I'm going to take one of the off-white hearts here and lay that in the front there. And then I'm going to take some of the beads here and just kind of lay these across wherever you want to fill in or kind of sprinkle these across. I am going to take a pink heart too. I didn't catch this on the video here, but I'm going to show you a picture of it. And I'm putting one of the other wooden pink hearts there in my box. So you'll see that here in just a minute. And that's going to complete the bottom tray. And here's a little clip video of the completed bottom tray there. You can see the wooden pink heart there on the left side. So there's one on the right, one on the left that are light pink, and then an off-white one down, down in the right front side. This really looks great. Uh, I think this is one of my favorite trays, the, this off-white. I love the, the look of it. And with the beads on it, it really makes it have that elegant valentine or romantic valentine touch. So we're going to move on to the top tray. And first, I'm going to start off with the, the glass bottle. And it's a little bit heavier, so you want to have that in the center just so the weight's going to be more supported there. And I removed the lid on there because we're going to put some roses in there at the end. I'm using one of the paper bowls or the little paper cups here just to raise up that frame so it'll be a little bit higher. And you won't see that uh, once you get your other items here on your tray. You may have to put something in the back of the cup, like another little bottle or something, just to hold your frame in place good. Mine kept wanting to fall over sometimes if there's any movement, so I did put a little bottle back there behind it to hold that frame in place. And then we have a, this is our taller standing heart here. I wanted to position that to the right of the frame there. And then I'm adding another one of the little paper cups. It has three of the rosebuds in it. And then we're going to put the lamb's ear. And I wanted this facing in the opposite direction of the piece that's on the bottom tray. Next, I'm going to add two roses. And I'm facing the roses on the top of the tray in the opposite direction that the roses are facing on the, the lower part of the tray. So two of them are facing in one direction. And then on the top tray, they're going to be facing the opposite direction. There's an off-white heart there I added into the cup or into the bowl. And then I'm going to place the little lid from the bottle. I'm just kind of, you know, randomly placing that there on the top of the tray. And then we're going to go back and we're going to fill in with our beads. And, you know, just kind of sprinkle these wherever you, you feel like it needs to be filled in there. Just to look like somebody kind of took off their string of pearls there, their strand of pearls, and just randomly laying those across your tray. And then lastly, we just added two of the rosebuds into the bottle or into the vase type glass bottle we have there on the top of the tray. And this completes the our top tray. So I just want to go over so you can see all the items here and then we'll show you the whole tray together. I love the way the off-whites and the really light pink really have that um, farmhouse romantic type valentine vibe to it. Really completes the tray. Makes it really elegant, really romantic feel to the tray. We hope everyone enjoyed our tear tray design today. I think out of all the tear trays that we've put together, we have several different ones that we've made in several different videos of them. I think this one is definitely my favorite. I love the, um, the kind of the elegant farmhouse design, and you could use this in any room in your house. Again, we want to say thank you to Carol at My Blessed Nest. Her information is in our description box. We want to thank her for hosting the challenge. I'm also going to include the playlist for the collaboration or the challenge to check out some of the other crafters in the playlist. If you're new to our channel, we want to welcome you to Southern G More Gals. Subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We have several 
uh, St. Patrick's Day farmhouse designs videos that we're going to have out pretty soon. So that way you won't miss any of those videos. We also have uh, several Valentine DIY videos that are already out. I'm going to list those down in our description box too. They're under the suggested videos. So check out some of our other Valentine DIY videos. We want to thank everyone for watching. Like this video that helps us keep um, towards the top of our list on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we hope everyone has a great Valentine's Day.